Well, I would say I'm all right too, but that's not exactly true, you know. Uh. Because let me, I got this little personal note here. I got a little garden in the back, you know, and I, you know you get a kick the fork spinning at a tilde thing and whatever have you, and you know it's not. I got some kale growing, pretty nice, you know. But you see, I, I'm I'm a writer, you know, not a not a fighter, or, you know. So I'm fighting the earth to you know put the fork spade in, and then I kept on doing that. And I'm just getting blisters. I'm getting callous on my right hand. Hmm. You can't see it now, but I feel it. So I gotta get my construction gloves to do this next time. I wasn't thinking. I was going all out, you know, mm -hmm. shuffling and stuff like that. Anyway, the kale's growing, so it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. But you know, talking about struggle, because that's the struggle of working with the earth like that. Here's what I've been thinking, you know. You know, I've been struggling. I've been in struggle a lot of my life. Like, like for instance, uh, I'm not going to do early stuff, but let's say, I think it was 1968, 67, somewhere around there, when this guy, this southern racist guy, governor of Georgia or wherever in Mississippi or Arkansas or whatever those places down there, George Wallace, you know, this guy, you know, uh, he was running for president, so we was protesting, you know. Up there in Madison Square, we came to Madison Square going for a big rally, we was protesting, and they brought the horses. It's not that field, there's big horses trying to control the crowd and stuff like that. Mm. You no, know, I don't see horses in crowd much more. I guess they figured out if you bring a horse on the pavement and you throw some ball bearings there, the horse will fall or whatever. Have it, so they want it. I guess that's what we figured out. Because now, now you know what they got. They got tanks and, and, and stuff like that. You know, they got machines that make you deaf and stuff like that mm. to control the crowd. They don't want people to protest or talk about stuff. So they militarize, as they say. They mm. militarize stuff. Even right now in Lesotho, mm -hmm. you know, there's a big thing in Lesotho because you know they formed a coalition government, and the guy said, "Oh no, we ain't doing that. The people's going to go protest." And he started to try to militarize the police to stop the protest. What's going on here? All this protest. But see, here's the thing. Here's what I figured, and I hate to bring it up, but well, South Africa, for instance, you know, there used to be different kinds of protests. Like there's a guy that just passed, what's this one? I got him right here. I got him right here. What's uh, could, could you just hold this for just a second when I get the page here? I wrote it down. Oh, I turn right to it. I take that right back. That was quick that time. But, um, you know, the Bishop David Patrick Hamilton Russell, now he was the he was the the, the, the bishop, the priest, you know, the clergyman that was in Dumbaza when they had when they used to dump everybody in Dumbaza to come from Robin Hood, just dump you in Dumbaza, nothing there. They had to, you know, they, they made a famous movie, Laugh, Last Grave at Dumbaza. About all the kids that died and stuff like that. But this guy, what he did, he was trying to tell people to play of these folks. So what he did is he uh, started living like them. He lived in the community. He existed on something like back then. It was like 14 rands a month for a whole family. He was just one person. And he started living like that. He lost a lot of weight. He went back to his people and said, look, hey, see what's going on. That was a protest. You know, he was showing people. I tried to do what they did. But a whole family could do it. Look, I'm losing weight and everything like that. Anyway, he, he brought light to that everything. Changed all that. But he had this thing. He had this saying. He just passed last week, a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. He had his, his dictum, they call it his dictum, you know, his, his saying, his, his, his mantra, if you will, was always have a cause. Mm -hmm. Bishop Russell said that. Mm -hmm. Bishop David Patrick Hamilton Russell, he said, always have a cause. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting. I'm listening to that. You know, because here's what I'm saying. I realized that I've always struggled. You know, after that, with the powers, you know, with, with black arts movement, uh, 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 with anti-apartheid, you know, I'm there with my placards in the street and stuff like that. But you know, when, when I'm not picking South Africa exactly, but when when, when y'all got your freedom, or we, when we hope South Africa gets their freedom, what they do? They lay back. They don't have no more causes. There's other people in the world that now needs that energy to be free. Mm -hmm. I mean, personally, you know, I can keep on going because 
Uh, there's one I'm attached to. I told you before about Red Cloud, one of my heroes, one of my one of my people. That I look at almost like a like Bishop Russell, you know. Uh, Red Cloud was beat the American, beat the American Army, you know. He's, but he come from the Lakota Nation. Now, right now, I saw this uh, chart. Do you realize the suicide rates? Here's how they go. The highest rate of suicide, just talking about the states now, to talk about you know, where I come from. American Indians, male, highest suicide rate. The next is, uh, they say whites. The next thing is like Hispanic or Latino, then black and Asian. But the highest is the American Indian. Mm. That means that they're in the most trouble to me. So my cause, if we will, or, 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 the cause I always have is to address and to, I don't want to say free, but help in the upliftment or the freedom of the Lakota Nation. And because they're not free, I got to keep on going no matter where I am. I'm struggling with this, with, 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 with this area or that area just to help practicing my struggle, practicing my cause, because my ultimate cause is if I, everything is free, the Lakotas will be free. And when the Lakotas are free, since they're in the worst shape, I figure everything else before them. But this is only an idea I just have. I mean, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But you know, sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong. But you got to keep on struggling. You got to always have a cause. Mm -hmm. Understand that? Now, I understand it. And I understand it because this is a dispatch, a dispatch of understanding, a dispatch from the Arch Director Emeritus, that would be me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I almost suspect.